subscribe to boost up station if you haven't and today we are going to install Arclone browser for windows it is a graphical interface app for windows where you can play with all cloud drives that can be mounted using Arclone it means you want to download data from multiple cloud drives to your machine with resume support for other operating systems videos are given in the description and a note that every operation uses your data bandwidth internet or plan whatever you say it now the first step is to check your system architecture type whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit so let us go to c drive let me go to c drive now here i have two program files folder it means my system architecture type is 64 bit but if it was only a single program files folder then it would be 32 bit so now i know mine is 64 bit let me proceed further by creating an arclone.conf file in any operating system you want you can create it all type of videos are given in the description for those now when you have created the arclone.conf file let us download these two softwares so copy each link one by one and paste it into your browser let me copy another link also in a new tab you can paste and on the top you will be seeing the latest version so let us scroll down and in the assets you will see the windows files the .exe file so as i have already figured out my operating system is 64 bit so i am going to download this second windows file click on save file now go to the second link and as it was 64 bit so i will be going in the first line and under windows click on download button if it is 32 you have to click on this one now let me save the file this one also it will be a zip file and let them both get downloaded both the files have been downloaded and here we have open this zip file open the folder inside it and extract this arclone.exe file like dragging and dropping or how you do it now we have three main files arclone.conf file the arclone browser that we have downloaded from this github link and the arclone.exe from the official arclone.org website now run this arclone browser file double click on it and it may show you some installations to be made so i want to install for all of the users so going to click on this first one and click on yes in the pop-up menu and here we have it this arclone browser click on accept next the location where it will be saved click on next next create a desktop shortcut so that we can access it whenever we want from the desktop and click on next and install tick mark this option to launch the arclone browser and click on finish so it is asking us to verify the arclone location click on ok from here and it will automatically open the preferences for you in the first attempt first field has the arclone location so what we can do is copy the location from here in the search bar you can see here click on this empty space right click and click on copy now in the arclone browser in the arclone location right click and click on paste now type the backslash like we have before these backslash and now type this file name arclone.exe arclone.exe you may not be able to see this dot exe so for that what you have to do is click on this view button here and click on file name extensions all right it will show you these extensions 
which are mandatory for doing all these steps. Now we have here arclone.exe. Now in the arclone.conf location, the second field, let's enter this file name too. So the location is same. Then again backslash and type this file name rclone.conf. These two things we have entered. Now most important or you can say the default download folder. You can enter here default downloads folder. I want to download inside this folder only so that I can show you quickly. Now you can set the upload folder also if you want interface you want you can change these settings like enable dark mode and proxy if you want you can add these otherwise click on ok after this and now you can see all of the cloud drives that are configured inside this arclone.con file have been mounted here it means they are listed here and you can again go to file preferences if you want to change the arclone.con file location or the arclone location or whatever changes you want to make to the configuration and then click on ok. So to mount any cloud drive just select that particular cloud drive and double click on it. Now it is going to mount that particular cloud drive for you. And from here download or upload the data. So let's say we want to download this complete folder right click on it we have a lot of options like we can get the public link of this folder like the google drive link if it is a google drive or team drive otherwise you can get the mega link or one drive link or whichever cloud drive you have mounted for that you can get the public link of a particular file or folder download upload mount option you can mount it as a drive here or somewhere in your windows delete this folder move this folder to any other folders inside it rename export directory tree and get size let us get the size of this folder before downloading it it's only 5 kb close it and let me download it you can enter the location if you want you can change right now and we have other options also you can check them according to your needs in the transfer you can increase the transfers the number of transfers that are going to be performed at the same time and checkers to check whether the files have been completely downloaded or not so these settings you can check and then click on run and the folder will be downloaded right here refresh you can see the folder has been almost downloaded go to the jobs and you can see it has finished downloading i have downloaded more than two terabytes of data in around three to four days more option you have if you want to upload some files or folder you can even create folder here like new folder if you want so uploaded data you can create a folder inside the root of the drive now just click on refresh and the folder will be created inside the folder which you have selected so like you have selected go index downloader folder so it will be created inside that folder only and if you want to upload inside any folder just select that folder and then click on upload button here or you can right click and click on upload and let's select the source so for the source let's say i want to upload this entire folder only so we'll be going to this location first then copy the path from here paste it this will upload this entire folder but if you want to upload a single file then you have to enter that particular file name after entering this path like adding the backslash and then that file location 
I mean the file name with the extension which you want to upload and it is going to upload this particular file in the extra options you can add the task description upload one and then you can click on save task if you want to run in future and if you go to tasks you have the task so you can click on run in the jobs you can see it is running finished go to team drive inside this folder it is loading the files that we have just uploaded and here is the file that we have uploaded let me quickly show you by selecting the folder click on upload this time we are going to upload the entire folder the go index folder we want to upload click on run go to jobs showing running show output and it is going to finish and it is finished go to team drive click on this arrow click on it again to refresh or you can click on refresh button here on the top loading and here we have the files so it has uploaded the files inside this folder and if you want to mount other cloud drives you just double click on that particular cloud drive which shows in the remotes and it will be mounted like this this is the mega and you can perform the download upload get size public link kind of operations and if you want to download unlimited from mega into any operating system you can watch the videos in the description many more are there too so that is it from my side by explaining almost all of the features of this Arclon browser. So please subscribe to Bootstrap Station and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.